هناك الحجامه and oral honey for treating thalassemia and iron overload conditions thalassemia and iron overload conditions are characterized by excess pathological increases of serum iron and ferritin الحجامه is with coming the therapy of prophetic medicine الحجامه includes three steps suction scarification and suction so it is called the triple s technique first step is strict sterilization using alcohol and we don't need it. Local anesthetic application for 15 minutes. Add sites for cup application. Suction using sterile disposable new sucking cups and the handheld pumps. Put at the cahill region in the upper back. One, two, three. And add the interscapular regions. One, two, three. One, two, three. Suction is for five minutes. Al-Hijama is a percutaneous treatment and is considered as the best treatment modality that can clarify, clarify and purify blood and interstitial fluids from causative pathological substances for example, serum iron and ferritin and the liberated hemoglobin in thalassemia and the iron overload conditions. Cups are removed and skin scarifications are created. Skin scarifications are called sharpat mejjab. Using the thumb and index fingers, we straighten the skin. Skin scarifications should be superficial, multiple, small, Short, longitudinal, confined to the skin uplifting is productive, evenly distributed, preceded and followed by a suction step. Suction is then done immediately at the site of scarification. Shortat Mehjam again, superficial 0.1 millimeter in depth, multiple. Small, short, longitudinal, in parallel rows, productive, evenly distributed, confined to the skin uplifting, preceded and followed by a suction step. Cuffs are applied immediately for the purpose of purification and getting rid of the bloody excretion. Short admission here in this third site. Superficial 0.1 mm in depth, small, short, longitudinal, confined to the skin uplifting is productive, evenly distributed. The purpose of shorted mehjam is to open the skin barrier to transmit the suction pressure to the inside of the fenestrated skin capillaries to help the process of pressure dependent and size dependent filtration through the dermal fenestrated skin capillaries. A bloody excretion is come out. Taiba theory explains the scientific basis of al hijama in clearing blood and interstitial fluids from causative pathological substances, for example, serum iron and ferritin in thalassemia. It can also purify blood from fragmented hemolysed red blood cells and liberated hemoglobin and the other metabolic byproducts. It is the only treatment modality that clears serum and interstitial fluids using a percutaneous route. In prophetic medicine, Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him recommended al hijama He said al cure is in three, shartat mehjam, oral honey, and cauterization. I do not recommend my nation to cauterize. Whenever a noxious substance is to be cleared from blood, al hijama is indicated.
فلتريشن انسايد ساك ان كابس از ا بريشر ديبندنت فلتريشن ثرو ذا فلستريتد سكين كابيلاريز ات كونتينز هيمولايزد فراجمنتد بلاد سيلز كلوتد بلاد ميتابوليك ويست باي برودكتس وي ريبيت ساكشن ستيب فيو تايمز Proper positioning for proper disposal. Clotted bloody material coming out in covered blood. The aim of sharted mechanism is to transmit skin scarifications to the fenestrated skin capillaries for purpose of proper filtration, pressure dependent and size dependent filtration, and to create artificial pathways for excretion of filter. Exudates and materials from the blood capillaries. Then sucking the cups are removed. With proper sterilization. Type and mechanism, type and theory. Explain scientific basis of al hijama in clearing blood and interstitial fluids from causative pathological substances. Al hijama is better than phlebotomy as phlebotomy excretes a portion of whole blood, while al hijama excretes and filters selected noxious substances from blood. Strict sterilization using bovidone iodine. Try dressing application.